We're on the corner of Clark and Fairmount. This was once the heartland of the Jewish immigrants. And we are outside Walensky's, a spot that was uh, immortalized in the apprenticeship of Duddy Kravitz. And indeed, young Mordecai Richler used to pop into Walensky's to get the Walensky special, which back then cost a whopping 12 cents. The neighborhood may have changed, but Asher Walensky is still here, 40 years on the job behind the counter at Walensky's. Duddy Kravitz uh, was partially immortalized in this place, and uh, you met Mordecai Richler way back when. Yes, I have. Uh, there's a picture over there on the wall with uh, when I was very young. I think I was 18 or 17, and uh, I think that was probably the only time I ever remember him here because I was working here after school, so I didn't really see him that often. This is one of the few places that still remain from the old days when this was the Jewish heartland, Jewish immigration heartland. You've seen a lot of change over the years. Yeah, there's been a lot of the corner stores have changed, a lot of immigrants moving into the area. Um, the, Fairmount School has changed, there's now College Francais. And you're not moving anywhere? No, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> if Montreal is the world capital for bagels, Joe Morena is the bagel king. I started working here in 62. In 62. Uh, for Meyer, uh, the founder, and uh, I bought it in 74. And then when he passed away, I, 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 I took it over all of it. So I've been here since 62. Now, Mordecai Richler used to come by here. Yeah, yes. He, he, uh, I first met Mordecai when he came back from England. Right. And, you know, he had five, five children. So he would come in and, and buy boxes of eggs. Not, not, not a carton, just two and a half dozen. We would sell him a whole box. <laughs> because, yeah, and three, four dozen bagels. And, and the, the, over the years, you know, built, built the relationship. A good man. He, and he was a loving appreciator of your bagels. He was. He Indeed. promoted them everywhere. Thank you, sir. Andy Grin is a lifelong mile ender, and he has a great proposal. I propose, instead of naming streets for authors, politicians, we should go ahead and just name the block. Put up a tag up on a block and say, Mordecai Richler Block. Now, you have a connection 60s. with Mordecai. Yes, I worked in the live-action film industry. We did Joshua Then and Now, and I was in pre-production and production of the movie, and that, that way I got to meet Mordecai, drive him around town when we're doing scouting locations, and off to the set and to press junkets and whatnot. So we sat side by each in a car doing some and, intimate talking. And he still had a fondness for the old hood. He loved it. I mean, you know, I, I get mixed stories about Mordecai. He's a comedian, you know, he's, he's bad, this, that, he had an attitude. He was what he was. He was an enigma to everything else that went around. He, you know, he, he loved his whiskey, loved his cigarellos. And above all, I saw him as an entertainer, not just a writer, you know, because he, he had a different bird's eye view of this neighborhood, this world, this country. I mean, I think the 20 years he spent in England gave him a different outlook of what's happening here. Thank you very much, Andy. My pleasure.